Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem flip equivalent binary trees. So we have a definition of a flip operation for, for a binary tree. A flip operation is defined as choosing any single node in the tree and then taking the left and right subtrees of that node and then swapping them together. So swapping the entire left and right child subtrees. And a binary tree X is defined as being flip equivalent to a second binary tree Y if and only if, if X can be turned into the tree Y after some number of flip operations. So that's what we have to determine. Is it possible to make these two trees equal with some number of flip operations? If it is possible, given the root of two trees, we can return true. If it's not possible, then we can return false. So in this first example, we're given two trees, tree one, tree two, and we returned true in this case because these two, these two trees are flip equivalent. Why is that the case? Let's start at the root of both trees, okay? One and one. And by the way, they mentioned this uh, down below in the description, but basically for e each value in both of the trees is always going to be unique. We're never gonna have any duplicate values and that's actually gonna be important for us and I'll explain explain why in a second. But for now, you can see that the roots are exactly equal, right? Which is important, right? Because this is a root. We can't flip the root. We can flip the left subtree or the right subtree or anything, but we can't flip the root. So these two roots have to be equal. So it's a good thing that they are equal. So let's cross these out because we don't have to look at it anymore. But now let's take a look at the left subtree of each of these nodes. Now the simplest case would be if the left and right sub if the left subtrees of both of these were exactly equal because technically two trees that are the exact same do count as being flip equivalent. It just means that we don't perform any flips. We perform zero flips and then the trees are still equal. But in this case we are going to need to perform some flips because let's uh, take a look at the left subtrees, right? We need these two subtrees to match up, but they don't. Just look at the root value. We have a two on the left, and in the, the other tree, we have a three. So they're not equal. Okay, so then we can say, okay, we're going to perform a flip, right? How do we perform the flip? Basically, the easy way, we don't actually have to modify the tree or anything, but we just take the left subtree of the first tree and the right subtree of the second tree, and we're actually now going to compare these two two trees. We can make that decision to choose these two trees and compare them, right? And now when we look at the values of both of these, two and two, they are equal, right? So since two and two are equal, we can uh, be done with them and now look at, let's say, the left subtree of both of these nodes. Now, when we look at the left, we see that they're both four. That's very good because this is the case where the, the subtrees are exactly equal, right? That's the easy case. We don't have to perform any flips, right? They're exactly equal. We don't do anything. They're the same. And it's basically the base case, right? Because this four does not have any children, right? So let's get rid of this. We're done with this. And now let's compare the right uh, subtree and five and five, exactly equal. So that's the good thing, right? They're equal, we can cross them out, uh, we continue, we don't have to do a flip. Now you can see that seven and eight, they are in uh, the opposite order, right? So these children are gonna need to be swapped, right? Because when you look at the left side, seven and then an eight on the left side of this uh, tree, uh, they're not equal, right? So we, we let's try the opposite case. Let's try the flip case. Let's compare this seven to the right child over here, and they're both seven, so they're exactly equal. So uh, we did find a match, right? So by flipping these two subtrees, they were equal. And then we look at the eight and the eight. These are also equal as well, so we can be done with that as well. Basically, what we have determined so far, right? We were we started at the root of both trees, right? We were trying to determine is the entire left tree flip equivalent to the entire right tree, right? So far, we haven't determined that yet. But what we have determined is the sub problem. Notice how we determined that this this entire subtree is flip equivalent to this entire subtree. We solved that problem, right? We solved the entire sub 
problem. And the reason is because this whole flip equivalent idea is a recursive definition. We solved the sub problem before we solved the entire problem, right? So you can tell that this problem is going to be solved with recursion. That's how we're going to code this up. But now the question we have to answer is, is this subtree flip equivalent to this subtree as well? If that's true, then we can return true. If it's not true, then we have to return false, right? Because we're asking, is this entire tree flip equivalent to this entire tree? So let's determine that. As always, we start with the root, right? Are these two values equal? Three, are e three and three is equal, so we can continue, right? We don't have to do any flips. And now we look at the left child of this tree and we can look at the left child of this tree, right? This is null, right? So six and, and null, that's not equal, right? So let's try the opposite case. Let's compare the left child of this to the right child of this six and six. These are both exactly equal, right? And compare the right child of this one to the left child of this one. These two are both null, right? So these are equal as well. So in this case, we find that these two trees are flip equivalent. We just have to make one flip. So then we basically determine true for the entire problem, right? So I hope you kind of understand the logic that we're following. I didn't really talk about how we're gonna code this up, but I did mention that we are gonna use recursion and basically we're gonna use the exact same idea that I just showed you and the code is going to be pretty easy because we are leveraging because we are leveraging that recursion. Okay, so let's write the code. One thing I just want to quickly mention before we do, we were passed in two root nodes, root one and root two. I changed the variable names to r1 and r2 just because it's going to make it a little bit easier for us to type this out. So we know that this is going to be recursive, right? So what is the base case going to be for recursion? Basically, if one of the values is null, right? Either of the root nodes could be null. So if not root one or not root two. So if either of the root nodes is null, what do we want to return? Well, if they're both null, we can return true because that means they're equal. If one of them is null, then we return false. An easy way to code that up is basically to say not R1 or not R2, or rather not or and not R2. Two, because if both of these are null, then this is going to evaluate to true, and then we're going to return true. If only one of them is null, that means that they're not equal. That means this expression is going to be false, so we're going to return false. You can code this up with two if statements, I think, if you want, but I prefer just to keep it nice and short. So now we know that both, if, if this doesn't execute, that means we know that both of the nodes is not null. So if they're both not null, what do we have to check next? We have to check that both of them have the exact same value, right? So if the value is unequal between the two nodes, then we can go ahead and return false. If they are equal, then we can continue. That means both of the root nodes are equal. So now how do we know if both of these trees are flip equivalent? Well, now we have to check the subtrees, right? This is the recursive part. Now, this is kind of the main bulk of the algorithm. So how did we kind of do it at the beginning? Remember when I was going through the drawing explanation, how did we do it? Well, we asked ourselves, right? Remember, recursively, we're doing this recursively. This is the recursive step. So let's call the recursive function self.flip equivalent. What are we going to pass in? Remember, the first thing I did is I compared the left tree of the left subtree of both of the nodes. So root one dot left and root two dot left, right? I compared both of these. So we want to ask ourselves, is the left subtree, are the left subtrees of both of the trees equal and are the right subtrees of both of the trees equal, right? If that's the case, then we can return true. Remember, basically, if both of the trees are exactly equal, then of course, that means that we have a true, right? That means both of the trees are flip equivalent. So I'm going to store the result of this in a variable, a temporary variable, basically called A. So th this is one, right? So if this is true, we can immediately return true. But if it's false, then we, we're basically gonna try flipping them, right? First, we check without flipping the trees, are they equal? If not, now we're actually gonna flip them. What do we mean by flip? Basically, I'm gonna call this exact same line of code, I'm gonna copy and paste it, just flipping the subtrees around. So we have root.1, 
from the first tree, we have the left subtree. So let's now compare it from the second tree, the right subtree of the second tree, right? We're flipping these, right? Comparing left and right subtrees. Similarly, let's do the same thing. So if here we have root uh, first tree, the right tree from the second tree, let's get the uh, left tree. So let's change this to left. So basically we swapped these around. Now, what are we gonna do? We wanna know if e either this line of code is true or the second line of code is true. So basically let's, re let's return A or this, right? Because we stored the first line in a variable called A. So let's return A or this. Basically, is it possible to make these two trees, R1 and R2 equal either by not performing a flip, which is the first line, or by performing a flip, which is the second line. So I hope that this makes sense because the code is short, but it's not necessarily easy to understand. As you can see on the left side though, this is efficient. So I hope that this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It supports the channel a lot and I'll hopefully see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.